Good afternoon. Thank you guys for coming out. Does anyone know why they're here today? No. No. Do you guys know where you're at? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just told him, hey, listen, we're going to go somewhere that's really cool. Get in the van. <laughs> so we're here at Myers Minx. It's a very famous car uh, from 1964 to 1970. It became one of the most famous race cars in the off-road scene. We ran, it won all kinds of races. It uh, later became famous through pop culture. It was in movies. And then people started making their own versions of it. So when we go inside the factory, you're gonna see different versions. People will have, some will have a window, some will have a top. So after the culture took over, everyone got to personalize this car and that's what made it fun. Uh, the car was easy to build. You could buy it as a kit and build it in your garage with your father, your family, your brothers, your sisters. So the surprise to you guys is we're going to get one. Myers Minx has been generous enough to donate one to the Norwalk High School Automotive School. And we are going to build it ourselves together as a team and then go take it racing. You guys ready to go check it out? Yes, ready. Yes. Let's go. So guys, now we're inside the warehouse. Before we go in and check out the cars, I'm gonna bring in someone who can give you a little more history about the brand and what we're here to do today. Hey, Brian, can you come on in? Hey, how's Good it going? Good to see you. Good to Good. see you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming by. It's uh, great to, to see everyone and glad you guys can make it today. So tell us a little bit about the brand and yeah, so in 1964, Bruce Myers actually developed uh, what's known as the Myers Manx. Um, and he was originally looking to basically create a lighter version of the dune buggy um, to go out in the sand, to go out in the desert, cruise down to the beach with his friends. And so um, he originally intended to make, you know, 10 to 15 of these um, kind of lightweight fiberglass dune buggies, um, but eventually saw a much bigger market for it. So he ended up selling kits. Uh, through about 1971, um, where you could basically buy a kit from Bruce, um, all the fiberglass, pick your color, get a lot of parts with it from his shop, and then attach it and assemble it onto a shortened Volkswagen pan, which is uh, what you all are going to be doing. Well, that's great. I can't wait to see it. You guys excited? I am. All right. Let's go check it out. Cool. Okay guys, we're here at the Legacy location of Myers Minks, and as you can see, there is a ton of projects going on, and we have ours right next to us. Does anyone know where it is? This black one. This black <laughs> one, that's right. Because like you know, a lot of our Sheriff's Motorsports cars are black and white. So Myers Minks uh, custom did this flake black for us, and uh, Brian, take it from there. What else do we have going on? Yeah, so what we're going to be providing for you guys is one of our remastered classic kits. Um, so this is very close to Bruce's initial mold. Um, but what we've done is our engineering team has actually remastered. So they've scanned um, a few of the originals, um, done some work on the computer to, to basically fix some of the variances that happened with a lot of these fiberglass uh, buggies to make it mount a lot easier to the chassis. Um, one of the other cool things that's on the remastered kit is it's going to actually have a built-in trunk. So you'll see in here, I can't reach it, but um, you can actually lift up the lid, um, provide storage for your battery, um, and makes assembling a lot easier. Um, we're also going to be providing um, some other parts and, uh, and accessories. So you'll see that we've got some uh, general grabber tires. Um, we're going to be providing some uh, different wheels for you all. Um, we've done a collaboration with PRP for our Elite Suspension XL seats um, and then a series of other parts to help you guys get this thing assembled. So like you guys saw uh, in the drawings and probably in movies, that car isn't finished, right? So our job is going to be to assemble it. So this is just some of the parts that we are going to have to work together to put together and complete the car. Um, this is just one of like several carts. The one behind us is a lot more stuff. We got roll bars we have to install, steering wheels, handles, um, a lot of brackets, wiring. Um, let's go take a look at the chassis and show you what they did with that. All right, so this is where we stage our chassis. Um, so we're offering a couple different models now. Um, the original remastered classic, which is what you guys are going to be building, is based off of a shortened chassis. 
So this is originally a late 60s Volkswagen pan, um, shortened right around 14 and a half inches to be able to fit that body. Um, but we're coming out with full length bodies as well that will be fitting onto a full length chassis, which is like this one above. Um, but I believe this one's gonna be your guys's. Um, so you're gonna be responsible for putting all the parts on it and getting it all ready for the, the body to be installed. And we gotta make sure it's safe because I would hate to be driving this and parts start falling off. So I'm trusting you guys with my life to make sure we assemble this right and make sure everything's tight. Um, we got a lot of work to do. You see what we're getting and see what it needs to turn into. So we're gonna walk over here to the assembly line and kind of give you what kind of idea what we need to do. There's guys already working on cars. Uh, Brian will go over a little bit of what each station does. and. Yeah, so when we start building a car, um, we basically take our chassis and it comes bare as you guys are going to be getting yours. Um, and our team actually mounts it here onto the, the chassis table and they're putting together all the parts. So disc brakes all the way around. Um, they're putting ball joint front ends, rack and pinion steering. Um, we're putting IRS suspension and transmission. Um, and then they'll mount the engine here as well. And then eventually get it ready to basically have the, the body put on. Um, and some of the final touches such as wiring, um, putting the show bars in, um, attaching hoods, lights, seats, um, all those extras. When you look at this chassis, and this is a lot we gotta get done before we can even talk about the power plant, but does anyone have an idea where you think the motor's gonna go on this, on this chassis based off of this right here? The back. On the back right here? Do you guys know what this is then? If it attaches to the motor? Transmission. The transmission, right. So. We have a lot of stuff to do, and we have a lot of good people that are going to help us. So throughout the process, Myers Minx will be providing any kind of guidance and support. The, the, the cool thing about this car was, remember I said earlier, back in the day, you could assemble this in your garage with your family and friends. And we want to show that now that Norwalk High School Automotive is able to do it. And this will be the Norwalk High School Automotive addition to the Myers Minx. So you guys want to take a look at this one. You can notice that the engine's already in it. A couple cool things about the Myers uh, edition, because you could buy these kits like, and do stuff to yourself, but they have cool things like the valve covers with their logo on it. I believe they have a nice custom exhaust. They work with a lot of really good companies to build these cars. What other companies, like who, who are we using for brakes? Uh, for brakes right now, I believe we're using CSP. Yeah, so we're, yeah, CSP brakes, um, we're doing CSP shifters. We do a lot of stuff with MP as well. Uh, yeah, the rack and pinion steering. Um, our engineering team actually remastered the original Sidewinder exhaust. Um, so you can see uh, custom exhaust where it basically bolts together, whereas the old one would be a full um, single piece. They're a lot harder to mount. And so everything that we're redoing is making it a lot easier on the builder and uh, the assembly teams. And that's you guys. You guys are the builders and the assembly teams on this project. So uh i'm excited to see what you guys can do and i look forward to getting into the shop and getting started on it as soon as possible do you guys have any questions we're putting king shocks on ours right we're putting king shocks on <laughs> ours as well did king shocks king shocks is one of our partners um so we actually had a, a shock uh, specifically valve for the myers manx so one of those cool partnerships that, that we're doing and i think the reason you had them do a specific shock for the myers was because of the weight is different than the average and exactly yeah it's a very light car um so having the, the valving correct, obviously, as you guys all know, it's, you don't want to put a truck, uh, a truck strut on a, on a very light vehicle, especially if you're going through the desert or on the beach. So another cool thing about the companies, they work with these bigger companies yeah. to customize parts just for this power to weight ratio and the weight of the, the car itself. So we're going to get to mess around with all that cool stuff and learn more and more about it. So hopefully you guys can you know, work in the automotive field yeah. down the road. I have one question. Yeah. How many total have been produced since day one? Since it's day one. Um, that's something that I'd have to look at our logs just because there were several stages of the company. Um, obviously, Bruce started the company in 64, ran it to about 71. Um, and then he came out in the late 90s, early 2000s with a few other models um, that would be considered Myers Manx as well, up until recently when we started remastering and reproducing these kits. Has anyone ever, oh, go ahead. Um, are these cars street legal or are they for like sort of purposes? Yeah, so they are street legal. Uh, they are registered as what we call the donor vehicle. 
Um, so typically the, the donor vehicle is a late 60s Volkswagen. Um, so that's what it's registered and, and titled as. Do you guys know what makes it street legal? Anything? What do you need on your car at night? License plate. License plate? Yeah. What else? Turn signals. Lights, turn signals. Seat belts. Seat belts, mirrors. All, all those things are regulations that make it street legal and Myers Minx has made sure that this car has all those features so that we can drive it down the street. So, you know, for prom, I can take one of you guys <laughs> and your date in it to show up in the Myers Minx car. <laughs> um, has anyone ever seen one of these before? Movies? Yeah. 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 Your dad has one? Yeah. He's actually building it too. Yeah? yeah? Oh, great. We'll have to follow up and see where he's at with that and maybe we'll set him up at the track and race him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Uh, what type of motors in here? Yeah, so right now, um, this one has a 1904 cubic centimeter Volkswagen engine. Um, so we're getting the, the cases uh, through one of our vendors, um, and we have an engine builder that's, that's assembling them for us. And we're doing all sorts of uh, different configurations. So this one has a single barrel, very stock carburetor on it. Um, but we're doing dual carburetors. We've got some testing going uh, with fuel injection. And then we're also testing some other um, engine variants. Um, we're coming out with an electric vehicle in the next... Uh, latter half of next year, and then we're also doing a radial engine. Um, so what you would see in like a, a helicopter is one of our engine offerings. Yeah? Everything I've seen looks like it's brand new. Is anything ever remanufactured that you guys use, or is it all brand new parts? Yeah, so there are some parts that are remanufactured. Um, obviously, they're not making old Volkswagen pans anymore, so it is a remanufactured pan. Um, they're, for the most part, are all reproduction parts, though. So. Our, our goal is that you should be able to get almost everything new and, you know, like you said, safe, um, reliable, and not having to restore old parts. Yep. Can we just put a cover over it? <laughs> like, if it rains? Yeah. Yeah. A co or like a roof, you mean? No, or like, like a for the motor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah a yeah, car they, cover. Do they come with, like, solid roofs, too? Like... Yeah, so one of the previous offerings um, was for a hard top. Um, that is something that I think we're going to be developing here in the next uh, few months uh, to, a, to a year, but basically it's going to be a, a bolt-on hardtop um, to make it so able to like be covered from the rain. Okay. Yeah, exactly, like a, like a Bronco or yeah. a Jeep would. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's check out the shop and uh, get, the, get the car loaded up so we can get back to the shop and get started soon. That's good. Well, awesome. Thanks for coming by, guys. Uh, really excited what you're, uh, what you're going to put together and can't wait to see the, uh, the finished product. Thank you for having us. Yeah, of course. Thanks, guys. Thank you.